Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft again. I know, I know. I keep, I keep uh, going. We're going back to Zelda, and we don't go back to Zelda. It, it's been, it's been a week. Uh, has it been a week? Uh, sleep schedule's been off. Work schedule's been off. Everything's been off. So um, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something that'll let me unwind. And, uh, compare that I should, <laughs> this should look a little different than when we left it on Tuesday. Uh, I've got a couple of these guys in here. So I've got a cartographer that I'm working on. I've got another cartographer that I need to do some more work on. I've got a cleric all maxed out. Uh, I don't, I don't know that the clerics have enough variety in trade that they, yeah, no, they, they pretty much, oh. This guy doesn't buy glass bottles. Okay, that's the that's the one trade he doesn't get it at uh, the expert level. Okay, uh, I can live with that. I mean, I'd rather have him buying bottles instead of scoots because I can always get the glass for bottles from the librarians once I get them in place. But uh, I'm not about to uh, <coughs> recycle him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in the hopes that I get something better. Uh, this Yahoo. Uh, I only had one stonemason set up. Uh, and the only thing he will buy is stone and clay. That's it. Everything else, he sells. So... He might, um, he might be set free for other opportunities, if you catch my drift. Because I really wanted a mason that would buy more than just stone. It didn't have to be all of the fancy stones, but I would have, yeah, set free. Uh, it didn't have to be all of the fancy stones, but I, I really would have liked to, him to have uh, bought at least one, maybe two. Like, if I could get somebody that would buy the diorite off me, I, I would deeply, deeply, deeply appreciate that. Um, I still haven't gotten around to moving the uh, cobble generator down here either. Uh, so I'm going to move and possibly improve the cobble generator. And I'm going to set up uh, a little bit of a better furnace system. Uh, a handful of furni just kind of, you know, chilling out here in storage is, is not... Th this isn't working. Uh, I, I took a look around and I, I might be playing with a cobble, with a uh, carpet generator... I'm going to see if I can do a carpet duplicator and get that to work to feed maybe a pair of furnaces. And what I'll do is for, I'll, I'll turn two of these into blast furnaces. I'll make another uh, smoker and I'll just set up a rig that it, I can knock out the furnace and replace it with a smoker if I'm getting ready to do that kind of work and just leave the furnaces in there and possibly fuel it all with a carpet generator. Maybe. Uh, I also need to get my hands on more dyes. Uh, incidentally, I turned this into a, a giant fishing pond. Uh, the biome has been switched back to ocean in the hopes that it would help me get some of the stuff that I'm missing to finish up the fishing quests. So every time it's been raining, I've been grabbing a fishing pole and going back over here. As uh, soon as I get my... Egg, um, it's been getting me the minimum that I need. I, 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 don't, I don't need all the fancy yada yada-ing. I, I just need... No, not to turn the head. I need cod, puffer fish, tropical fish, and salmon. And as you can see, I've been getting them, just not enough. So, uh, 
I do that on the rainy days. And once I get, um, once I get my 30th level back up, I can enchant this one with Luck of the Sea 2, which should help. And maybe even combine, not maybe, and combine that with the Unbreaking 3 fishing rod that I've already got. And, and kind of improve things a little bit more too. You also notice that gap where the pickaxe was. That's because uh, I, I, I went to the cobble generator, did the uh, Alt F, uh, sorry, Alt F3, the F3T trick to get it to uh, just keep running and ran through an entire diamond pick. Um, and I just finished putting all that stuff away before going live while I was semi-patiently waiting for the coffee to do its thing. Uh, this has been running beautifully. <laughs> As you can see, it, it is uh, perpetually backed up, which, you know, yay. So I'm going to, I'm going to block up and I'm trying to get a decent surplus of iron. Um, and not today, but in the very, very near future, I want to get it set up so that way once things start collecting in here, a signal is brought down to this block here to turn it off. Although I noticed that um, because there, there's that one little corner there that they can still see him through, um, off isn't entirely off. Hello, Beach Duck. Happy Friday. If I don't knock this box off my desk, uh, the clutter has uh, gotten real. So is the coffee. So I need to I need to maybe rework a couple of things. I think part of the problem is that if you if you don't if you don't have that gap back there where the stairs are then the villagers can congregate over in the that back corner there and he doesn't scare them creating iron but that trap door is not enough to block their vision uh when you want it to so i i might i don't know i gotta figure out what can be done to to truly block that vision or not um uh, I might, now that I think about it, I might put a glass block over the zombie's head and then put a sticky piston in that gray block ab above it. And then I can power, I can power that block sticking the glass block over the zombie's head which will not suffocate the zombie, but it should block vision. I just don't know if that's going to interfere with him being in the, uh, in the minecart. That, that might take a little bit of finagling. Um, but not today. That, that's not, that's not a today project that, uh, I mean, it could be a today project. I wasn't planning on it being a today project. No, that's not going to be a today project. Furnace first. Uh, I've also been using a bunch of slime blocks for uh, temporary blocks as I work on uh, getting uh, getting the villagers squared away. Uh, I didn't. I did. I just moved the cartographers directly in there because I really didn't care what trades they had. Uh, they were always going to have the one that I wanted two cartographers for. So that wasn't a big deal. And I thought the Mason was always going to have the one that I was hoping he would have uh, for the, uh, you know, the ability to uh, buy some of the other stone. But since he didn't, uh, he might be destined for early retirement. That, that I haven't figured out yet. It's on the to-do list. Let me first... Um, get 
Get a couple of placeholders in there. Let that run. And, and I'll figure out the, the ins and outs of ons and offs later. Um, today, I definitely need to... I need to move that micro farm. I don't know if I'm going to move it over by the villagers so I can have easy trades or if I'm going to leave it here with the other crop farms and just move it a block away from this. Although I might rearrange this one more time. The The main idea was to have uh, a, uh, an automated composting system because obviously I'm getting tons and tons of poppies. Uh, I'm getting tons of wheat seeds and standing there manually composting them was getting deeply, deeply annoying. So, yeah, that's two hoppers that I'd really rather put to another purpose. But, uh, I, it's two hoppers to get that whole process off my mind. And the problem is with the redstone dust there, it powers that block, which it's supposed to do for this farm, but that locks the hopper. So what I need to do is I need to move the hopper back to that block and rearrange things. But the last time I did that, it looked really weird. Uh, and so I might, I might have to find a way to hide that better. So that way it doesn't mess with the, the way things look over here. But um, that might have to be for... I need to do that today, but I don't know. We'll see. I've got this composter here because my intent is to grab one of those villagers, put them around here in a temporary structure, and uh, and then start working on leveling up the farmer villager. So that way I can make sure that he will buy both melons and pumpkins. If I can get one to sell apples, that'd be a bonus. But my main objective is they need, by the time they get to Journeyman, they need to buy melons and buy pumpkins. Anything else I can work with. Um, if they can't, uh, they will be freed up for other opportunities. And I'll find the next candidate for the job. Yeah. Yeah, we'll phrase it like that. That sounds better. Oh, I really should trade. I should have traded with those guys. That might have given me the last little bit of levels. But I need to finish running around doing a couple of quick harvesting things too. Because uh, I need paper and I need sand. So let's get sand. Oh, this hasn't been as uh, productive as I would have hoped. Let's double check and make sure this is actually running because every now and again, yeah, sand, what, on the sand? Yeah. Okay, no, that is working. All right. Every now and again, the clock stops and I haven't figured out exactly why. Uh, reworking that clock, clock has been on my to-do list, but eh, not that high on my to-do list. Yay, two more sandstone. <laughs> now, I need tons of paper to level up the cartographers. And once I start getting librarians to level up the librarians, uh, just like I'm doing with the composter for the farmer villager, uh, I'm going to be doing the same with, um, did I have a spot over here for sugarcane? I don't think I did. Because I, I, I didn't think I should. Um. Uh, fine. I'll put it there. Just in case. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Not there. Um. I'll put it there. I mean, I still got plenty of empty storage. 
It's all randomly random. Oh, pumpkins. That was the other thing. Because I've got to get I've got to get a proper pumpkin farm going. And now that I finally got the iron for rails, I need to get a tree farm of some sort going so that way I can get the lumber. Um and then and no and then and then uh I can I can get I can get the rails to get a proper melon pumpkin farm going. Hopefully. Oh, so close. Twelve more pumpkins. <laughs> With one plant going, that's going to take a little while. But that is uh, that is the main objective. Let, let me go trade with those guys, get uh, two more diamond picks, and, and then um, and then we'll get to work on seeing if we can make a carpet duplicator. I've seen a couple of different varieties uh, of potentially different effectiveness. You know, one of those we'll see. So we'll see. All right. Ow. Yeah, I've been trading iron with these guys so much. We're at the negative benefits version of trades. Also, it's not time for them to work at their workstation, so uh, I need to sort of patiently wait. Oh, I should probably get a clock up here, because uh, I think we've still got the texture for uh, the clock with the light. Oh, no, not yet. Nope. Nope. Okay. Going to be all rest like here. Look at your station. Yeah, I do need to get some more trades going with these guys, too, eventually. Yeah, so during the day, the farm does seem to shut off because they kind of wander on that side where they're out of view. Um, so I, I definitely I definitely need to see if uh, pushing a glass block into his head is a viable strategy. Hello. There we go. Ooh. Uh, did we get all you guys? All right. Weaponsmith. Toolsmith. There we go. All right. Uh, which one's the toolsmith? You're you're the yeah, there we go. And Let me get a little more iron. And, oh, that great. That gave me, uh... That gave me enough levels that I can go enchant that fishing rod before we get too much further. Who's, who's willing... Are you willing to trade? Yes, there we go. And... Nope. Uh... Nope. But I can get me another efficiency pickaxe. There we go. Drop that in there. I should probably also put a barrel up here to hold on to some spare emeralds. Yeah, that'd be a good... That'd be a good thing. Eventually. I'll get to that. One step at a time. Alright. Let's uh, combine these to get us an efficiency three pick. Let's put uh, these emeralds away for now. Let's get that sandstone out of the inventory before something unfortunate happens. And... Oh, because I combined the... Oh... Oh... <laughs> I did that in the wrong order. I did that in the wrong order. All right. Come here, you. Give me XP. No. Still not there. All right. Uh. Oh. Here we go. Make yourself useful. 
emeralds for trade. Oh, come on. Uh, where's my extra emeralds? <laughs> Don't have much in the way of extra emeralds. Uh, let's get one more. <sighs> so close. So close. Um, hmm. What can I do for some really, really quick XP? Uh, well, if, since I'm getting ready to get the smelter going, let's go ahead and trade some stone while we still got this guy around. I mean, he's not long for this island. It, it, it is truly, truly unfortunate. How uh, short his tenure on this island will be. Alright, no. That's right, that's right, that's right. Focus, focus. <laughs> what is this focus of which you speak? Ooh. Oh! Oh. Okay, that's nice. Alright. So, I got Unbreaking 3. That's already got Unbreaking 3. Three. Uh, what if I leave Luck of the Sea? Let's clear that of enchantments. No. Uh, where's your torch? Let's see if this trick still works. Used to be. You could do that, and technically that bookshelf is now blocked, meaning the tables end up resetting. Unbreaking, unbreaking. It's still nothing but unbreaking. Are, are you... That one's not going anywhere. Um, how about now? Oh, come on. Did they fix that? Of all the things they could fix, that's the one that they fix? Let's do this as cheaply as we can. I don't need I'm breaking one. I need I need I don't know. Hmm. I need lure three. I need lure three and now I need thirty levels. <laughs> Alright. We'll leave that there for the moment. Uh which room? That room? Or that room? I'm working on building this out. I don't have I don't have a master plan for how this is going to how this is going to fit. Sorry, that that was bothering me. Okay, um, yeah, I don't I don't have a master plan for how this is all going to fit uh, yet. All right, I'm gonna need a sticky piston, an observer. A lever. Probably some redstone. Uh, some slime blocks. And I'm going to need two, four, six hoppers. Oh, it's so nice to just reach into a box and grab some iron and go, Okay, I got enough for hoppers. <laughs> now I just need to get to the point where uh, 
I just don't have to worry about lumber. Alright, so for six hoppers, I need 12 logs? Maybe. Well, let's not make cauldrons. Oh, because I gotta make the chests. Duh. guys down. Oh, I didn't realize I was cooking potatoes. Don't you just love it when you find a snack? <laughs> oh, there's more potatoes. I'd go for a real baked potato. Alright. Uh, I'm going to need some immovable objects. I'm going to need some carpet. Yeah, we'll try that for now. All right, so how do I want to do this? And I'm not entirely sure if it all works. All right, let me extend this walkway out to the border here. And that way I can put the furnace set up there and I can move the cobblestone generator there. Put a smattering of uh, item frames on either side that way. Matter of fact, uh, let me get the leather cooking for all that. Oh, how many potatoes was I cooking? I mean, how often do you find random potatoes while you're rooting around? Never mind, don't answer that. I don't want to know. Alright, let me get some... Polish slabs, some. I'll make some polished slabs. <laughs> I need. I'll make some slabs out of that. And I'll make two stacks of slabs out of that. Yeah. Alright. So I'm going to need those in slab form, those in slab form, and those in slab form. I need to get, uh, I need to get some better lighting going too. Just gonna, well, we'll, fit, yeah. We'll start making complete sentences in a minute. Please hang tight. <laughs> okay, maybe not. It could happen. Oh, not today, though. All right, let's get a floor in. The, the, this is definitely not a floor that I'm happy about the, the design of. Uh, we'll put one of those to go up there. We'll, uh, one, two, three. We'll put one of those so we get a way up here. And we go like so. Yeah, I'll just go out this far for now. I don't know what I'm going to put behind these village people, but I will put something back there at some point. The, the, this, is, this is my grand plan, is to just uh, <laughs> build very randomly. Just start, 
to start extending stuff out as as I need it. And try to eventually set it up so that way it is like a collection of rooms. I need... There? No. Not there. Is that the one? Yeah, that's the one. I need these guys. It's going to be one of those. All right. Close enough for government work. All right. I oh, I'm going to need a bunch of double chests. The storage is going to go to waste. All right. Uh, so let's think about this. Nah, let's just build it. Oh. That. That unevenness is going to bother me. It irks me. That's the slime. Maybe I'll maybe I'll peel this one block back, so that way it's two on either side. Later, but not right now. All right. Uh, so we're gonna have that there. We're gonna get our two furnaces there. fuel there. And our input there. So far, so good. Here's the fun part: figuring out if I've got this, if I, if I, un, if I'm understanding the uh, the basic theory of how this works. I want to say I need a block there. something under it. Oh, no. That needs to be facing the other way. everywhere. Uh, that's going to go there. And I'll 
let's just test some of this right now. Um, I need a block under there. It technically doesn't matter. I just need a block. I think that worked. Well, it worked in the sense that I started getting duplication there. I just didn't get it on the other side. So let's do this. Let's get another sticky piston. Uh, sticky piston. That means I'm going to need an iron... I got the redstone. I'm going to need four cobble. And I'm going to need three planks. And a slime ball, not a slime block. To make a piston. And a sticky piston. Because I think there needs to be an item that actually moves under that carpet. So, if I do. Oh, doggone it. If I do that. I wonder if I go like that? No. What do I got to do to power that at the same time? Or will that... No. That's not helping. Hmm. Hmm. So I need to power both of those blocks? Uh, let me grab a second observer. Gonna have to start working on getting some more nether quartz. Of course, I haven't put any uh, carpet on the other side. Actually, maybe, maybe I don't need that. Maybe I just need something that's going to ride along with the slime blocks. Let's try that first. Because I'm still not entirely sure how or why this works. I just know that it does. Or that part of it does. Uh, once I can get these two working side by side, I can then extend it up about three columns. Uh, so let's empty both of these guys. And then... Yeah, that's uh, giving me none on the other side. Okay. So that's not quite working. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, how do I power? The both blocks at the same time. That is the trick. This 
especially since I need to keep the space above them clear. I mean, I could always just do two levers, but they, they seem to interact with each other in weird ways. So I really want them both working off of the same lever. So that way when this is extended, they're both extended. I, I really would have thought that that would have, uh, that would have done it though. Uh, let me remove those guys real quick. Because I'm actually wondering if I take, uh, if I take the lever and do it like that, is that going to power them both? No. That only powers that one. I thought... I thought that a lever powered all the blocks around it. Um... Or some of the adjacent blocks. Th this is this is where... This is where Minecraft and... The, the way things are powered gets it's insanely useful once you get the hang of it it's that once you get the hang of it part that's kind of like like oh those guys all right uh so if i do i get one of them Okay. That's progress adjacent. That's not going to cut it. I need and that's not going to cut it. the other way again. Let's get that there and that there. And if I go like a... Nope. Oh. Okay. I need power to hit both of those guys simultaneously. to let the observers power those guys when they come back. going to lock those hoppers when the lever is extended. Well, that's a non-issue, because it doesn't power those guys anyway. Why doesn't it power those guys anyway? shouldn't have removed all those because uh, no matter what those
those guys are going to need to be powered when the observers come back. Uh, oh. Oh, do I, do I not have a redstone wrench? No, I don't think I had a redstone wrench because I didn't have enough gold or iron to make it, to uh, make it. Please, is that, is that enough? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, beautiful. Oh, how I missed you. Hmm. Hmm. I, I feel like there's a stupidly simple solution right in front of me that I'm just totally blanking out on. Come on, let me sleep. I need to sleep on it. There we go. Hmm. Actually... Let's do this. Let's go... If I put blocks there, I need... I need a two redstone torches. Do I have any sticks left? Not enough. Wrong way. The observer is going to have to go that way. Hmm. No, I can't run redstone dust there. Um. And if I run. Just run redstone dust under there. That's not going to power them, because it doesn't power them above. Uh, it doesn't power the items above. It only powers to the left and right. Um, I was not expecting this to be the part that took all day. A second. Could it be could it be that simple? It could be that simple. I need another target block. I think I made a bunch. Yeah. Let's do target blocks. Dust. Oh, 
powered both of them. But that one is not... Or is it just because it's a little funky to get primed? That could be it. No. Almost there. Where am I? Is it getting both of them? There's two. There's twelve. No, it's not getting both of them. I'm missing something. These two guys need to get powered at the same time. And this needs to... Or... Hmm. Or does one of them just not need to be a sticky piston? It's like this guy is getting moved before. Hmm. Although, if, uh, I make one of them big enough, is that enough to feed both of them? That's a thought. Cause I, I didn't see I didn't see anybody that did them both side by side like this. No, I take that back. I saw a couple of thumbnails. I just didn't see how how they worked them. So I'm not sure what the uh, what the mechanism is for both of them, and why this guy. Because I don't think the second one's even firing. Although I'm not seeing the first guy firing either. So. All right, let's take those guys off for the moment. That's both of them. Yeah, it's definitely not hitting evenly. They should be getting powered at the same time. Actually, no. Technically, that one should be getting powered first. Unless that one's powering that guy. I did pick this to be relaxing, right? Just just checking. Okay, so that is definitely powering that guy. Not that one. So is that guy getting powered first, which is pulling both of them forward? Uh, oh, the other way would be to have something that could stick there. Cause I, I think the big part is having something that'll stick there. Uh, some of the designs that I saw used um, a dead coral 
I am... I am precisely one coral short of a dead coral. And I can't get one of the wandering idiots to spawn over here, much less spawn over here with uh, some coral. And I can't magically make any any coral apparate. I wonder... I wonder if there's anything else that would work. Is string movable by a sticky piston? Because I know that you can put string down and put carpet on top of it. No. The string did not move. But then again, I also put it left to right. What if I put it... Oh, never mind. Okay. So not string. Uh, I tried a sticky piston. I tried a slime block. Um... Is it, is it as simple as just doing a regular block? Well, one, two, three. Chests aren't movable, I don't think, so I wonder. What if, what if we do it like this? Let me, uh, let me tear this guy down real quick. Move this over one. And instead of go like a so. Like a so. That way we can run one side or both. Except I think I'm still going to end up bumping into into there. Uh, Alright. Here we go. Over. And up. And we'll get... From there and there, we'll get a block there, and do the same basic idea. I need a 
second lever. I need more levers. More levers. Gonna have to get around to making some more levers here soon. Uh, if this works, that actually makes it nice, because that means that I can keep the levers up front. I might even move those levers there. Oh wait, no, because I need that block there for the observer. Speaking of, let's, uh... Let's get one of those guys like a so, and one of those guys like a so. Either way, I'll work. We can get our floor back. Carpet there, carpet there. Oh, that's an interesting problem. I think it's tossing into the, the one on the other side. I wonder if there's a way to... Ooh, what can I put that's going to help... Um, keep these guys from knocking stuff where that where it ought not go because it looks like that might be the way to go I just need something to keep it from uh, popping into the wrong into the wrong thing uh, oh if only I had some cobwebs although cobwebs would slow the fueling process so maybe not um, hmm. Hmm. I could do a wall or some fence. I got plenty of fence to try. Although, I guess my concern with the fence would be that, um, I would actually end up blocking instead of All right. Let me sleep. It's a little too dark in here. Oh, that does seem to work. All right. And if I do this side? Okay. Okay, so that seems to be working. Now I just need uh, I need some blocks along along the back, so I can try to contain it. Uh, oh no! Next step. Next step. Need three from there. Three from there. Because what I want to do is go one, two, three, four. I 
I need more uh, glazed terracotta. Do I have more glazed terracotta? Not enough. Uh, let's go buy some more. While Captain Useful over here is still slightly useful. I don't know if that's going to be enough, though. Which means I need to go. Up. Oh, Alright. And go one, two, three. Matter of fact, I'll go one more up like that. And that might keep things from bouncing around too much. I'll put uh, some slabs across like that. Okay. Now I just need blocks up and down either side like that. I'll probably put some upside down stairs there to block that off. All right, so let's uh, let's break this up like we have been. We'll grab some of those. We'll grab some of those. Well, sure, we'll grab a couple of those and of those and two of those. slab there, upside down slab, or stair there, and snacky snacky. Just a few more. I need one, two, three more. Three more. All right, placeholder. You're about to get used. Come here, buddy. Yes, I know I grabbed nine when I only needed three, but I deeply, deeply suspect I'm going to need more before too long anyway. Uh, across the top like that. I think, actually, yeah, I think instead of that, oh, I don't have those kinds of slabs. I think 
I'd rather do that. Fifty carpet, fifty carpet. Okay. Let's uh let's go cracked and mossy and cracked and we'll throw a regular and a cracked and a mossy and a mossy and oh. It should be a lot more cracked. Heat warped. Sure, we'll go with that. Um, I probably should do something with the terracotta too. Or maybe I'll just cover it in banners or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, because I definitely want to hide a little bit more of that when I get a chance. Right now, I'm just worried about containing the carpet. So let's do of course. All right. Uh <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. I guess it's close enough. I don't think Job of Mine's getting fed early. Apologies for the sounds of a uh, poor and abused puppy. It's a tragedy, really. As poorly fed as he is. You've seen my intermission. He's barely even there. A waif of a puppy. And if you believe that, I've got some oceanfront property in Nebraska to sell you. So that's working. So if I get that going, that's filling up pretty quick. And I, I probably should have put some glass on one side or the other. That's staying there. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> the poor abused puppy. I think I got me a smeltering system now. And one that should not run out of fuel. So... Let's uh let's put this to the test, shall we? Let's put the redstone away, the torches away. Leave the wrench in there for now. Uh I don't need stone slabs anymore. Let's get the uh let's keep some andesite slabs handy. Let's keep some granite slabs handy. Let's fill out a little bit more of the smooth. Let's put um, terracotta away. Let's get the stone. Put that away. Eventually, I'll get a few more placeholders in there, but not right now. 
What I really want to do is run this through its paces. I could use tons of stone, so you know what? Let's, uh... Let's start churning through the cobble. And see if that can, uh, see if that can keep up. I mean, in theory, I should probably save some of this as actual cobblestone, but... Oh. Huh. I might actually need to take a uh, take a layer off because it looks like this is actually producing more carpet than it's consuming. Yeah, if that starts overflowing, I might need to knock that down a level or two. Things I did not expect to have to stay. I'm going to need a couple more levers. While I'm thinking of it. Which means I needed cobblestone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, so maybe I'll... Uh, Maybe I'll keep a little bit of cobble on me. Of raw cobble. Except for the two levers that I need. Because what I want to be able to do is lock the furnaces and get the XP from it. Oh! Um... Yeah, that was not the problem I was expecting to have. So, you know what? I'll let that run through its fuel. And, uh, and then I'll knock this down maybe, maybe two. And just get two carpet duplicators on either side. I, I was not expecting, uh... Yeah. Yikes. I mean... Wow. Okay. Okay. Mission accomplished. It's ugly as all get out, but mission accomplished. There we go. All right. I, I'd still like to know how they had them stacked side by side instead of having them go out to the wings like that. I don't know. I can always go back and decorate it later. But in the meantime... <laughs> yeah, coffee break! It's always time for a coffee break. Alright, uh, yeah. Which means I also don't need those guys there anymore. Oh, I was cooking up some leather, apparently. Oh, yeah, not apparently. I... I Crikey, how absent-minded can you be and still breathe? No, don't answer that. Don't, don't answer that. I said don't. That's 
27 out of my 50 hoppers. Uh, I need two more smoker, or one more smoker and two blast furnace. No, one more, yeah, one more smoker and two blast furnaces. Uh, let's get that. And for a smoker, I need, right? That short-term memory thing. Oh, no, there's the smoker. And the blast furnace was the stupidly expensive one because I needed iron and smooth stone. Yeah. Yeah. I hate burning through that iron. No, not anymore. Because what I base so basically now that this is all all set up the way it is, what I can always do is, if I know my next job is going to be better suited to a blast furnace or a smoker, I can just load up, um, load up whichever one needs to get loaded up, and then everything will uh, everything will work out just fine. Uh, I was going to keep them in here, but honestly, if I'm filling that up, I might want to, I might want to put them somewhere else. I don't want to have to keep breaking them down, although I'm going to have to break that down anyway, so. Honestly. I might just do that. That wasn't what I wanted. Great. And do that, and that way I can use them as singles or if I need to. Yeah, so I can use these as singles, or if I need to, I can break and move. Because, uh... I honestly... Other than other than when I get some kelp going, I, I could see myself putting the smoker in, in place of the kelp. Uh, the smoker in place of the furnace for the kelp, just because that'll go through faster. But uh, with an infinite fuel source, I, I'm... The last time I did a setup like this, where... I could switch them out if I needed to. I never did, because as long as as long as I got more fuel than I, you know, than I know what I need to worry about, um, it was never an issue. Uh, I, I never had an issue with um, waiting just a little bit longer. You know, I throw the potatoes in, and so they they don't cook as long as they do in a smoker. Uh, it's not that much long. Well, I mean, it is. It, it kind of is. All right, let me grab. Uh, let me grab some scaffolding and start working on cutting this down. And you guys, I thought. I thought if you were there, he wouldn't show up. Do I? Do I need another one? I wonder how. I get. I'm gonna have to look up uh, the cat spawning algorithms. To see how how far away from a player a cat has to be before it determines. Come here, you fat cat. 
Ah, that's it. Come on. You're kitty, kitty, kitty. There we go. Come on. I, I need you closer to the other side. Uh, Birding cats. I thought I left this behind me. Come on. You, you can... You can hang it over here with the dog and all that. Alright, maybe that'll be close enough that it won't think another one needs to spawn. Because too many cats and I'll have filled up the, uh, the animal cap. And I won't have room for sheep or cows or anything like that. Um, no, that's right. I was going to put... The chiseled stone away. I can put the fish away. If it wasn't for the fact that I was trying to keep these guys spaced far enough apart that I didn't end up with more cats randomly appearing, uh, I'd be tempted to unleash them when I go to sleep because if there's cats roaming around free that are yours, uh, that are tamed, uh... When you go to sleep and wake up, they will bring you stuff like uh, string, phantom membranes, uh, rotten zombie flesh, and some other, uh, something else. Because I, I saw where where somebody somebody figured out how to space out cats and hoppers and glass platforms and all sorts of absolute craziness to use a herd of cats as a passive string farm. It was, uh, it was a massive, massive undertaking, utterly ridiculous, and yet, uh, very compellingly glorious all the same. Well, compelling to me. I, I, I don't know that everybody that was watching with me found it as amazing as I did. Just one? And that was a lot of extra, huh? I, yeah. Let's try just one first. Because I, I don't want to tear it down more than one and find out that uh, I had under underbuilt. Did some of my slabs get... Ah! Drop down here. Oh, yeah. At least one of them did. Um, oh, there's two. I feel like I'm missing more than that, though. I am. Unless... I didn't have all the slabs that I should have had in the first place going across. Which is possible too. Because I need one, two, I need one more than that. 
I need a third slab. And to stop falling. I feel like I shouldn't have, uh... I see my problem. I locked the hoppers. All right, so let's do this then. Oh, no, I can't put it on that side because then... That'll be in there. Do do I have to put a? Or oh, my kingdom for an elytra. Can I do it like that? That's a small hitbox. Yeah, we'll try it. It could work. It could work. That's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. That's gonna go there. Congratulations. You've accumulated an amazing amount of channel points. I hate when you got to be very careful like that, but that might just have to be the way it goes. Uh, I don't know the beach duck knows how to check the channel points or what they are. I still got to change that to. Uh, I need to find I need to find a good uh, open clip art version of a coffee drop, and then I can change the channel points to to coffee drops. I still have no idea what what to, what to set up for people to spend them on because I, I never use them. I never use them. Uh, I just I the 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 whole the whole interaction is beyond me because it's just it's not my bag. It, it's not. There's nothing wrong with it. it. I it just it's not not my thing. And I feel kind of bad about that. I shouldn't, but I feel kind of bad about that. I just realized I could 
make some of this a little bit easier too. Uh, not like that. Let's do that. Let's go like that and like that. Let's get that back there. We'll go like that. If that's enough uh, XP to move things forward a little bit. Yep, not as much as I thought. Actually, kind of like that a little bit better. That at least makes a little more sense having stuff in the uh, in the floor. I mean, for that matter, I might as well move the smoker there. Nah, I'll, I'll leave that as it is for the moment. Um, I'll figure out something to do with those when I get a chance. Hmm. Alright, let me go put, uh, put this away. No, oh, that's right. That's what I was going to do. I was going to check. Now that I cut that back, is it still burning through... see what I did wrong. I made a mistake. Because that needs to be able to move back and forth. And that's why I thought I was missing some of the slabs earlier. Uh, so now... With uh, three of them going... I think it's still filling up faster than, uh... I think it's still filling up faster than it than it's burning. I wonder if I could also hook up some redstone. Ooh. Ooh, there's a thought. Could I take... a comparator signal... Off of the furnace I wonder if I could take a comparator signal off of the furnace power that block power a dot underneath which would invert which could invert the signal and... Basically what I want to do is I want to set it up so that way when there's nothing cooking, those guys turn off. When there's something cooking, those guys turn on. Um... Yeah, let, let's figure that out. Let's figure that out. 
We got time. Now that the heart part's done. Uh, well, except for the part where I keep falling in the stupid floor. Alright, so let's see. What do I need to make the magic happen? I need... I'm gonna need... I'm going to need some more quartz. Do I have more quartz in the nether? I might have some more quartz in the nether. If I do... Or do I just get one side working and then uh, worry about the rest when I get there? Because it only matters if I can duplicate it, if, if I can work out something that actually works. Who am I kidding? I'm going to get this to work. This will work. Really? No quartz? Where, um... I thought I had... some quartz. I really wish you could... Yeah... <laughs> what, the eternal search for that thing that you thought you had that you put away somewhere and totally forgot about it? Uh, no, I know I, I know I had some quartz. Alright, if I were me, I would have put the quartz, because that's the solid block of quartz. I'm talking about the redstone component. I mean, maybe I would put it in there. Because I don't, I don't see anything on this side that would have uh, indicated quartz. Father. I'm going to need to hunt down some quartz, aren't I? Yep. Alright. Come on. <laughs> I was on a roll. I was on a roll. some netherrack to make this happen and a smidgen of luck <laughs> yeah yeah I'm sure that's it I'm sure it was the skeleton horse that took that are you kidding me Nothing? Oh, I guess I don't need that ring up there anymore either. Oh, oh, this is because I'm using the uh, diamond pick, isn't it? Oh no, I am getting stuff. That glowstone wasn't there earlier. Okay. It's just uh, not where it does me any good. Naturally. The stone, I think the stone picks have a uh, higher chance, but uh, if I remember right, it's the golden pickaxes that have the highest chance of generating something. 
So, uh, let me go make our cake. Uh, hi! Hi, friend. I'm armed and armored this time. Bring it. Actually, if you could bring the quartz, that would be... No? <laughs> Alright. I guess they didn't bring the quartz with them. For shame. Alright. Uh, I mean, part of this is I really need an easy way to melt down all these gold swords. <laughs> It is deeply, deeply irking me that there are all those gold swords. And I didn't want to waste the fuel on uh, burning them. Alright. Let's break that down. Let's get a golden pickaxe. And let's go try this again. I really need to get cranking on the librarian so I can silence those stupid cats. <laughs> I'm about done with them cats. Alright. Solid gold! No. No, probably not. Oh, there's my quartz. It's under the under the floor. <laughs> nope. Not going after it. That's what it is. And I think, if I remember right, a netherite pick. Hello? Alright, you know, that's all I need, so uh, I'm not going to sit here wasting my time on that one. Yeah, I want to say it was a golden pickaxe gave you the highest uh increase in terraforming chance and netherite was the second highest if if I remember correctly that's that's a big if hi friends we're we're doing this again Oh, where did you come from, you little rat? Oh, how many of you guys were hanging up on the on the stupid wall? Why are you hanging up on the stupid wall? What was that all about? Is there anybody stuck inside the farm? I mean, you guys were up on the wall. You guys trying to do your Jon Snow? Like, up on the wall? The only thing you're going to find in there are slimes. I really need to find out where all those bats are coming from, too. That's... Oh. oh uh, before I forget... Ah, I'll let that accumulate a little bit more. Not as much as I would have hoped. Alright. Um, I can't remember if it's... Stone? Yep, 
There we go. Stone, three torches. All right. Uh, I need to grab some more redstone dust. I need... All right, so right now that is providing power. Uh, I can't put anything there, otherwise the slime block will catch it and bad things will happen. So I can do this. I can do that. And I can All right. uh. so that is providing power. What I need. Oh, I need a couple more torches. Part of the way there. Or is that what I need to do? I just need to get another slab like a so. gets the power down. That's almost right. Except I need to either invert the power one more time or one less time. Um, hmm. So 
that is drawing power from there and powering that block. Although, it is power equal to something to do with uh, yada yada stuff in the furnace, yada yada. I can't move that. Although, is that going to move the redstone? No, the redstone is not getting moved. Am I overcomplicating this? Almost certainly. If I do that... Can I... Go like that. Yeah, it, there's a really weird math formula to the whole thing that I can never remember, and, uh, yeah. That should be going, that should be moving the, the, the redstone signal down. Or is that what I need to do? If I get a repeater, that powers that, that gets the redstone signal there, but that's not, uh, all right, so let's do that, let's do that, and that, that's what I was afraid of. Okay. All right. Progress, though. All right. So... Let's get that back there. Back to throwing, uh, maybe we're back to throwing, uh, 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 target blocks. <laughs> target blocks are the problem. That seems to be the answer to so much of Minecraft is the third target blocks are the problem. So if I put that guy there. Except that doesn't get it back up there. Um,
this feels a little bit closer to what I want. as possible. <laughs> uh, if I could get it down, well, let's start working backwards. All right. Then I just need to power that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Although, I'm trying to figure out why that's not traveling down like it's supposed to. <sighs> or like it used to. It used to be that redstone power would travel down, alternating. Or did that only work with half slabs? Does that have to be a half slab? Is that why? And if I put anything there, that slime block is going to cause all sorts of trouble. simple that could be it that could be it right there now I have to figure out what to do with the smoker and the blast furnace later that's still ugly, but you know what? I'll take it works. Oh! Oh, wait, no, 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 no. That, that, okay, that should still be enough space. And everything still... Oh. <laughs> I still have the problem of, uh, it's creating fuel faster than, uh, faster than the machine can... That is the other question. Do I have some sort of alternate off? Some other way to turn this off. Uh, I guess I could put a lever on the back. Yeah, I could put the lever on the back as an emergency off. Uh, because I can't put it there. Uh, 
is it going to keep... Uh... Okay. So as long as that's on, it's still going to keep burning through fuel. Alright. Let's grab another target block. That's going to go right there. We're going to get the other lever that's going to go right there. We'll leave that locked for the moment. We're going to need a brick. I guess it doesn't technically matter which kind. That torch is going to go there. And I'm going to need to tear up a bunch of stuff until I can get the space squared away. Stone dust. Yep. Copy and paste. Going to need that. I'm going to need to cut that out. stone dust and my other comparator all right that should be a system should be a system that allows the that allows this to run anytime I fuel it and it's got an emergency off in the back so if I ever need need it to just like not run I can uh, I can actually clean up some of this complete. Now I just need to knock this down one more lay one more level because uh, that is that is actually <laughs> that that's more more productive than I can manage. Never thought I'd say that.
Let's knock one of those guys. And that guy. One of those guys. And that guy. That leaves me two carpet on that side. And two carpet on that side. I can actually do that right there and that right there. And that keeps this at this height, which doesn't technically matter, but that means that it's less that I got to tear down. Let's uh, let it run again. Oh. Oh my. Uh It's still Still moving too quick. Even with uh, two carpet running, it's still running too quick. Wow. I was not expecting this. When I saw somebody powering a, a large furnace array with only a couple of these, I thought that was some sort of a joke. And not a funny one at that. I was not expecting uh, this to be that 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 uh, that powerful. Because uh, let's just say they haven't always been. Although now that I think about it. The Season Zero one used a three carpet setup to power four furnaces. So maybe I shouldn't be that surprised. So that's one carpet and uh, and one one carpet. Yeah, just the one. Cause that's two slime. Yeah, yeah. So that should be a carpet a piece. Let's see if uh, that's all I needed to build. And and if I just you know grossly grossly over engineered this, not a comment out of you. I could uh, oh, not throw my pick. Uh, I could get the uh, smoker in the furnace.
GOE. Wait a second. Did I... Did I just break something? Oh my. Why did that turn off? Um, maybe a smidge. I, I thought I was going to need bigger carpet duplicators for this job than I did. And it's not grossly over-engineered. Just said it was a little over engineered. I, I don't I don't I don't know that counts as grossly over engineered. Although goodness. Just I never said they weren't okay before. I just said I wasn't using them in season one because I wanted to do a season without these things just to see if I could. I saw that I could. And now I'm trying to find that balancing point where, you know, what's reasonable and what's not. The, this is, uh, we, we could have done your entire smelting array with a couple of these guys. I mean, l l look at this. Th this is generating carpet faster than I, than I can, uh, burn through it in the furnace. Uh, wow. I, does anybody need carpet? I have some carpet to spare. <laughs> uh, I guess all I really need is one carpet of each color and then I can get that I can get that achievement done pretty quick. I mean, the, my great googly moogly. Wow. Okay. I was not, uh, yeah, and that's still sucking down carpet from before. Yeah, that iron farm's working really nice, too. I need to work on the auto shutoff for that, but I'm going to need... I am going to need another... Um, I didn't realize I had that much. I, I'm going to need at least one more comparator to, to make that work. And a few more torches. Alright, there's my three torches, my three stone, my redstone dust. Uh, let me go, let me go 
time is it? It's almost uh almost nine. Eh, let's do this. Let's see if I can get another uh, another quartz real quick. Right, let me get that out of my inventory. Let me let me inventory inventory. Uh, let's drop those in there. Those in there. And those and those. Dems and those and these and those. Uh, oh, come on! I've already got cats. Why are you appearing? The game is supposed to check and see that there's a cat there and not give me another one. That's why you're there. You're supposed to stop them. All right. That's it. As soon as I get off the air, I'm Googling what hunts down cats in Minecraft. Do I need a wolf? Will the wolf hunt down a cat? I know a tame dog won't do anything. He's just like Jubba. Useless. I can toss him a bone and that's about it. No, because the wolf attacks sheep. The foxes attack chicken. And I feel like we're verging on some really bad Dr. Seuss. Something. There's got to be something I can do to, to, to stop the cats from spawning. That's going to be my next Google search. Minecraft. Stop cats from spawning. Or do I need or do I just need to forget a floor design and just carpet the whole stupid thing and that way I don't have to worry about it? Actually that's not a bad idea. If they don't have a spot that they can spawn in, they can't spawn. Alright, let's grab my gold pick. See how long this takes us to. Uh... Yeah, no, I know, I know. Believe me, I I know. And I I well and truly thought that. Um. I well and truly thought that uh, having a tamed cat was the answer to that problem. And you just needed enough tamed cats in the right areas. And because I thought my understanding was that at the at the at the particular interval oh, I don't have silk touch jerks um if you if you did it at the right interval no wonder why arcadius is decorating in uh another right Uh, sorry, I'm having trouble getting completed thoughts. No, oh, come on. Seriously? Show me the quartz. Show me the quartz.
All right, let me go make another golden pick real quick. I need to put on breaking on it. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. How many more do I need? Seven more. I was getting ready to wonder why that wasn't uh, running, but duh, because I turned it off. I spent all that time trying to rig this so that way it would auto turn on and off based on what's cooking. And the stupid thing is so overproductive. It, it produces it produces a backlog of carpet. Uh, I almost want to. I almost want to set this up. So that way there's an array of Ferni. And then just one of these guys feeding a Hopper Minecart. That's for thinking later. Uh, that's for later thinking. Um, Let's grab that. Let's put that away before something unfortunate happens. I could definitely use more uh, more magma blocks. Uh, where did I put the soul sand? There's the soul soil. I need more sticks again. Seriously, if you guys aren't going to keep this riffraff out, uh, I'm going to have to um, retire you. That's right, he's not going to put it on himself. I need... Do I have a dispenser? I do have a dispenser. Do I have a button? I have a button. No, I had no good reason for doing that. <laughs> I won't call that the dumbest thing I've done all season. But... It sure isn't the smartest. No, I'll keep those on me just in case. I don't need that though. Alright, let's try to get a little more quartz real quick. 
if uh, if I don't get it real quick, then then I'll probably call it because uh, I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do about the furnaces. Uh, I wonder if one of those is enough to. I wonder how many how many furnaces you can fuel with one of those, and whether or not I really want to use that many hoppers in Skyblock. Although, although. Uh, since I've been as conservative with them as I have on all the other projects, I think I've got enough wiggle room in everything else that I could, I could, uh, I'm not going to say waste. Uh, I could spend a little bit more of my hopper allocation into a project like that, especially given how often, uh, given how often uh, harvesting is a very necessary, very, very necessary thing. I mean, I want to be mad, but I'm not. I guess I need to get to uh, melting some of that, too. I do think that uh, once I get enough, uh, once I get enough uh, magma blocks, see that—that's the sign, you know, that it's almost time to call it a night. Oh, thank you. All right, there's my quartz. That's what I came for. I mean, I'm not going to say no to the gold, though. All right. Uh, are there any blocks in an unfortunate place up here? So I don't have to worry about something spawning that would cause everybody to get uh, discomforted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got a fair amount of tomorrow. To, uh, to, to manage. Alright, let's get that. Let's, uh... Is there anything else I need to leave here? Nope, there's nothing else I need to leave. Why am I trying to right-click like I'm going to open the portal? Uh, <laughs> Hi, friends! We're, uh, we're getting ready to do this again, are we? Is it just you? No other friends? Okay, fine. So I'm probably going to need to do something... Oh, that's right. I need a block of glass. I don't have anybody that sells me glass. Oh, I hate doing this. I need to put the soul sand away, the soul soil away. Um, I guess I can put uh, the the. There's a frozen frozen. There we go. I meant to leave some of that back there too. Don't you start on me, too. Meowing like a cat. Okay. Let's get one more comparator. I need a sticky piston. So I'm going to need to grab four cobble. stone dust and 
three planks. So I can get a piston. And I need a slime ball for the sticky piston. Alright, uh, and we'll figure the rest out as we go. Uh, I'm probably going to need at least a lever, at least one lever. Because I want to be able to have a manual off. Alright, I got the comparator. I got some of those guys. I'll, now I got stuff for torches. I don't need any observers. Uh, sure. Let, let's call it good enough. Let us off to Redstone some more. I'm working on getting someone to trade with. Uh, soon... Oh, come on. Soon as I start... Soon as I start uh, getting people squared away, <laughs> I I've got to get i got to get two farmer villagers in there for trading melons and pumpkins and getting emeralds and golden carrots because I'm tired of potatoes. Um, and I'm gonna get my librarians. Once I get my librarians, I'll have the glass, and life will be good. So I, I'm working on getting the people to trade. They're over there. They're working. They're 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 uh, they're they're working on making more people to trade. Because uh, now we're getting to the point where I'm getting a little particular with the uh, the particulars of who does what. All right, let me get rid of that. Uh, I'll deal with that in just a minute. Because what I need is oh oh ah you bum I shouldn't have done that just yet. Ah. All right, let me go get my wrench. <laughs> Did I? I thought I brought my wrench. Th this is just like ah, uh, this is just like a real world job too, where you 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 look, you rummage through the toolbox, you think you have everything, and then you go start the job, and then you realize, oh, that one wrench that I need. That one wrench that I need is not here. It's in my other toolbox. I left it in the truck. Whatever it is, it show sure ain't here. Alright. So we got that down. And what I need is I need a... Signal off of here. But anything I do... Okay. Um... Alright, let's think about this. If I do that, it should still pull a signal through the block. So I just need to get a signal looped around to push that block of glass down on the zombie's head. Although, I gotta say, I am just a smidge scared 
that with the block of glass right there. It's, uh... Yeah, he's not scaring those guys. Because I think his uh, eye line is already... Already too low. He's apparently not able to make eye contact with them. to get my uh, thing back though without letting you guys out come on man give me give me my trap door all right so that is a bust So that is not the winner of a plan that I thought it was. There we go. Alright, I'm going to have to think this one through then. Because if that's enough to break eye contact, then maybe instead of that stare there... No, I, I think maybe I need to set it up so that way that is the extension. And it retracts the glass block here. Um, I'll probably end up moving my stairs to this side. Although that makes it harder to get out over there too. Uh, and it's right behind that chest. All right, I'll leave the iron farm off for now because I, I got a little bit of a I got a little bit of a backlog of iron, so I I got a little bit. So I am mostly okay for now. Um, hmm. Are you guys about to get scared of him again? Oh, you guys are trying to sleep. Oh, because once they lay down, they can see him. Okay. I see now. I see now. Just out of curiosity. Okay, so that doesn't suffocate the zombie. That allows them to completely sleep. So, if I can get two glass blocks Or a double extension off of this one. Although, once I do the double extension, I'm cutting into my farm there, too. Yeah, this is definitely going to require some thinking. Um, hmm. Well, it's nice to know that this is off-off. 
Uh, which means that that... That's going to keep it working at least half the time. Well, the problem is, is if I lower the beds to his level or raise him up a little bit, he can then reach them and kill the villagers. Uh, I could try to make this platform bigger and then move them this way, but the the bigger I make the platform, the more careful I have to be about spawning space for uh, for the golems. The less there is here for the game to check, the, the faster they'll spawn and the faster they'll die and the faster the iron farm will run. So right now the way it's at, it will it'll work half the day. So it, or it'll work through the night because the only way he'll see them is when they sleep. Um I wonder if that was a glass pane. I think if I put the glass pane in his head uh, that hurts my soul that deeply deeply hurts my soul Sorry. I'll have people to trade with for glass soon. Soon enough. I think I've got uh, glass panes, right? Yep. I got a couple. So they're scared of them. They're not sleeping. And now they're able to sleep. I hate that it keeps doing that trap door. The water's still not going to fall through, but it still bothers me that the trap door is there. It's got to be a trap door for the height to maintain the height between the bed and the uh, and the roof. So that way these guys have room to move around. Alright. So. That means I just need to find a way. Oh wait, no. I can't pull a signal through there. Because that's not a full block. That's an upside down stair. So you can actually open. Open the. Uh, open the. The. The chest words how do they work Ooh. so that is going to be an interesting problem all right or maybe not maybe that actually makes it easier uh because that means that i can do that which i don't like doing because it cuts me off from or it makes it harder to access that barrel. But choices in life and such. Alright, so I'm going to get this. Which will pull a signal directly from there. back to working. Oh, I need
need to make sure that that's uh that that doesn't flash every time every time something goes through I'm glad I saw that uh Okay. All right. All right. I got this. I got this. Uh, let me go grab another barrel. And I think I got one that I accidentally renamed and I never quite got around. Yeah. I never quite got around to, to fixing it. Um... Basically, I just need... I need some filler. What's a junk block? Oh, diorite. Oh look, the diorite's gonna be good for something. I need a, uh, I need another comparator. All right, uh, I'll put everything together except for that. Uh, let's just, uh, let me go iron blocks. And, oh, that's not my farm. That's my farm. <laughs> Let's see a cobblestone. Oh. Oh, you. Ah. All because I walked away for one minute. You had one block right there, you jerk. I'll, I'll fix your little red wagon here in just a minute. Ah, can't reach me, can you? I should have thought of that. I should have thought of that. All right. Sorry, I'll make sure that that's taken care of in just a minute. Uh, let's get the iron blocks moved over here. Oh, are you kidding me? I turn... <sighs> Fine. For serious. Put something there before another one of these yahoos spawn on here. Go jump in the void. Fine. Stand there precariously. Uh, actually... Does... Oh, dude. I have a deep and abiding love hate of you guys. If I pull the comparator this way, does that mean I can run the signal 
up so that way I'm going around it. In other words, we'll go Comparator. Um, listen, Bob. If I run anything by any power by that, it's going to lock that hopper, which doesn't matter because it's only going to lock the hopper when it's full anyway. Uh, should have brought more blocks. Okay. That got me part of the way there. Nope, nope, nope. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I thought it was going to knock him off. And then I remembered I don't have a cool knockback weapon yet. I I hope they can't see me through the glass. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? No, no, you guys are fine with me. Good. looks the wrong kind of special. That looks very much the wrong kind of special. I may just have to let it run and see how it goes from there. Uh, nope. Not the redstone. Because what I'm going to need eventually is I'm going to need to run a comparator from a barrel into the side of that comparator. So that way I can get a, well, comparison. Uh, which means I'm going to need to run that power channel differently. Uh, another time. For the moment, I'm just going to drop that barrel there. So I can have my diorite to get a signal 
comparison from. Uh, I don't think I need any other redstone components. Oh no, I still need the the manual the manual shut off. Look, a manual shut off. All right, because if I pull that, that still pushes that down, which makes them all sorts of happy. Hi guys. Nice and safe. Look at you. Anybody? Anybody want to go for another round of trading? No? No? Okay. Alright, so I know my manual shutoff works. It doesn't mess with the trapdoors now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that does kind of... That does trip me out a little bit, not going to lie. Alright. Uh, is my backup iron box full full? Almost. Alright. So, I guess I'm just going to have to come back and see if... That, if this fills up. Because I guess my concern is if a mixture of iron and poppies get stuck in there that that won't read enough to go all the way. Oh, uh, not just that. But part of my concern is that as something... Tra so, like, that guy's dying. Uh, s when he finishes dying, his iron and poppies are going to travel through the hopper. For the momentary transition, that's going to light up turning everything off and then turn off turning everything back on uh, although I guess it's off long enough that I don't have to worry about that glass pane getting stuck in his head and since there's a 30 30 second countdown yeah 30 seconds before they check for another uh, iron golem that that might that might be a concern that doesn't necessarily matter um, maybe. I'll let it, I'll let it run. I'll let it run and see how it goes. Although it is nice to know that I now have a shutoff, a manual shutoff that definitely works. And maybe an automatic shutoff. Uh, I'll, maybe I'll go AFK after I after I get offline and uh, and see how that goes. Uh, hopefully between now and Tuesday. There we go. I just need to get some emerald ore. Probably not until I get silk touch though. All right. Uh, let's put that away. Put that away. Put that away. Oh, don't worry. You're getting the cat head next. Looks like you're about to be a ginger. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'll, I'll put the rest of the stuff away later. He says as he keeps trying to put stuff away. Is it raining? I think it's raining. That means it's time for fishing. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I keep getting distracted. Yep, I I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna break out the fishing rod. Uh, I do I did have one of these that has uh, luck of the sea, right? Yep, only 19 more durability though. Uh maybe I should make another. Uh, you know what? 
Oh, no, because I was going to get lure as soon as I got uh, the levels. Um, bother. All right, 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 all right. Uh... You know, hints are supposed to be subtle. Look at the sea, unbreaking. All right. All right, let me, uh... Let me hit the credits and say thank you for joining along every Tuesday for sure is Coffee Craft thir uh, Thursday. Has been Thursday in a long time. Fridays at 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern is normally games revisited. It's been it's been a wild and crazy couple of months, so I haven't been able to do that on its normal schedule. Uh, stick with me. I will get that fixed. I will. I, I promise. I just can't tell you when because I don't know. Uh, let's see who's available for a raid. Uh, oh, I guess Beast Lord isn't on. I'm getting there. One day. Alright, let's go raid Grimly for a little bit. Uh, looks like he's playing Diablo 2. Oh man, Diablo. There's a game I haven't thought of in a very, very long time. Alright, I'm going to hit the title card, stick around for the raid, and I will see you next time.